Day nine of Blue Raider football camp is in the books, and so far head coach Rick Stockstill is very pleased with his team's determination and performance. Here's the highlights and interviews from today's scrimmage. But I was really pleased with the effort on both sides of the ball. Uh, you know, I thought we tackled good on defense. Uh, you know, I thought we did some good things offensively, uh, made some good throws out there, and we protected pretty good, you know, for the most part. Uh, we didn't turn the ball over, you know, which is, a, you know, always a positive. Uh, offense had... Uh, two penalties and the defense had I think two penalties so for the first scrimmage it was pretty clean from a execution standpoint so uh, the big thing I wanted to get out of this though was just their effort learning how to compete and go hard through the whistle uh, and I thought they did that today and they would go up and watch the film and, and see that for sure. As you see, we have two quarterbacks, and I feel like as an offense, I feel like we trust in both of those quarterbacks, regardless who's in. I feel like we have trust in both of them, and I feel like both of them can lead the offense, regardless of how it goes, including Mr. Brent Stocks, though. And Grimmer. <laughs> I already said Grimmer. Being a high-tempo offense like you guys have, what's the biggest advantage of you, or biggest advantage having that high-tempo offense? You know, it's a big advantage. You know, our goal, you know, first and second quarter, I guess, you know, but all defenses are going to get lined up. I guess the tempo offense is really – is really effective most in the fourth quarter when defenses are tired, the linemen are tired, so we try to be in the best condition we can be so when that fourth quarter does come around that you know we're getting lined up just a little bit faster than them and we can hopefully catch them out of place at the right time. You know, it's all about fundamentals, getting better fundamentally, and then understanding as a player that you're not there. You never arrive as a player that there's always something that you can improve on. You know, I, I thought, you know, did a really, really good job uh, with our cadence out there today, uh, trying to draw guys off sides. I thought we did a nice job there. Uh, you know, Brent got him to draw off three times. And I think Grammer got him to jump off once. Uh, a couple times they got back, but their voice inflection was really good. And, uh, you know, so little things like that that, you know, you guys might not notice. Uh, but we can always improve, and like I said, this was only number nine. We got 20 more to go, uh, so there, there's a lot of practices, a lot of opportunities. You know, we, we threw a lot at them offensively and defensively this week. Now we'll start cutting back a little bit and uh, going over, repeating some of the you know plays and schemes and everything we're doing. Start getting uh, a little bit more in game mode uh, as this thing keeps ticking along. Well, that wraps up week number two of fall football camp for your Blue Raiders. And fans, do not forget that Sunday from 2 to 4 at Floyd Stadium is Fan Day. For GoBlueRaiders.com, I'm Jake Rose.